Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. There is an executor and there is a will. Glory be to God. Can we clap for Jesus? Let's celebrate him. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Ladies and gentlemen, Jesus left the will of help. He left the will of what? Number, number, number three benefit that we have in Christ Jesus is the ministry of what? Of help. You see, ladies and gentlemen, if there is no help, people at times can look like, you know, a lazy person. Because God looks at humanity. He said, look, it's not good for man to be alone. Let's make a help meet for him. Am I right? So, a ministry of help is something everybody must enjoy. Genesis 2.18, and God made the woman. In Genesis 24, when the woman called um, uh, Rebekah came to Isaac, the last verse, Genesis 24, the Bible says, and um, Isaac was comforted from his mother's death. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? That, the mother had died three years before then. He was living in distress. But when the woman came, she was comforted. Now, what's the meaning? That's to say that, you see, people go through this distress in life. They need a comforter. They need help. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? The helper is also called the comforter. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? They need help. The Bible says he was comforted. Why? God gave him a helper. It's not good for a man to be alone. Let's make a help meet. Am I right? So, therefore, comfort entered his life when help came. I don't know, ladies and gentlemen, who I'm talking to. That discomfort you have been going through, ladies and gentlemen, all you need is the ministry of help. If somebody can help, ladies and gentlemen, your dreams can be realized. <laughs> a man said to me many years ago, he said, just do your best. Eh? He said, then the ministry of help can come. He said something to me I never forgot. He said, if a dog has human assistance, he said, the dog will kill the monkey. Because when dog, dog is terrestrial, it's on ground, it's grounded. When monkey sees dog coming, all he needs is just to climb a little tree. Am I right? And there's nothing dog can do again. But when there's human assistance there, you will bring the monkey down. Am I right? You fire catapult, you take a stick, you bring it down. And once it jumps down, the dog what? It becomes available for the dog to kill. Am I right? So, so you know what he's saying? He said, he now said to me, he said, once you have help, he said there is no height you cannot get into. Ah, I believe God for scholarship. How about gave me scholarship? I went there. You know, they said we never had a student like you. How would they not say so? But you see, that means there are some certain students Harvard will never have if there is no scholarship given to them. So don't think all the people that are there are the best in the world. No, it's because there are some that, that are better than those who are there. But it's because, ladies and gentlemen, they never have scholarship to be there. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? When I found the help of scholarship, they knew that better student did. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, the glory of God in your life will shine now. <laughs> because help is coming to you. Amen. The other side, when help comes, it allows the glory inside of you to do what? To shine. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? So Jesus said, I am the true helper. I have come to help you. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? He said in John 14 and verse number 16, he said, I will pray the Father and he will send you another one like unto me. He said, another translation says, another helper like unto me. That means Jesus was a helper. Am I right? So he left the heritage of help. Oh, oh. Ladies and gentlemen, for you, he left the heritage of help. Now, please understand, if, if there is no help, ladies and gentlemen, it becomes difficult for some certain dreams to be realized. As I told you, it doesn't matter how brilliant you are or how brilliant I was. If I never got that scholarship, I would have never been privileged to go to Harvard in my life. So, please understand, ladies and gentlemen, there are heights unattainable until there are some helpers. And tonight, God is going to raise helpers for several people. People that will believe in you and will stand and help you. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? You see, in John chapter number 5, Jesus got to the pool of Bethesda where the angel was coming to stir up waters and the first to get in would be healed or whatever infirmities he heard. And then verse number 5, Jesus got there and saw a man that was there. And Jesus perceived he has been there for several years. And Jesus asked him, would thou be made whole? And the man started a story. He said, ah, I've been here. He has been there for 38 years. He said, anytime they stirred the water, he wanted to go there. He has been there for 38 years. That means he was not 38 years old. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. That, that means he, he has been in his cognitive sense for 38 years been there. Probably they brought him there at the age of 20. Do you understand? So he is now 58 years. So if anybody now, if they stare the waters because he was crippled. 
While he's trying to crawl, somebody must have entered in front of him. Can you see? There are so many people seeing their opportunity and the thing will be leaving them because there is no help. He said, Because there is no man to help him. Can you see? Because there is no man. Ladies and gentlemen, are you in that position, ladies and gentlemen, that all you need is just a helper and you will find yourself there? Sister Deborah, who is watching me tonight, came to me. Pastor, I have nothing. Business has closed down. Nothing is working. My two children, this has happened to them. This is all I had. This is also so. I lay hands on her. I said, the Lord said you will move into selling provisions. You will, be, you will be this, you will be that and that. He said, and I see somebody giving you money. And I see this and I see shops. And I see. So we prayed that day, ladies and gentlemen, and somebody called her truly. He said, please, I have this two million. Take. And you start a business, just think of whatever you can start. It's what I'm talking about. You see, the moment a helper came, and that's the business she's been doing. Now, she came to see me today, and she's talking of taking it to the higher level. Ah! I said, Mama, <laughs> taking it to the level of hundreds of millions and billions. I said, Mama, <laughs> is that what the culture I'm talking about? That is when helper comes, ladies and gentlemen, strength comes. The man said, there is no one to help. I know what to do. It's just that there is no help. I don't know who I'm speaking to here. You have those things in blueprints. You have them in dreams. You have them in visions, ladies and gentlemen. Tonight, the ministry of help will reach you. Amen. So when Jesus was going, Jesus said, I will not leave you helpless. So I'm not trying to say, I will not leave you of Thanos. He said, I, I, uh, John 14, 16, the Greek said, I will not leave you of Thanos. The, what, that is the, the Greek word where you have the word orphan coming out from. An orphan is somebody who has lost even his parent as a tender age. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? You know, you see, when you're at a tender age, when you're a child, when you're an infant, when you're a toddler, you still need to be dependent on people. Am I talking to somebody here? Now, so at the stage when you still need help, ladies and gentlemen, and now to find no help. Uh, that is the meaning of being an orphan. Do you know what I'm talking about? Jesus said, I will not leave you as a person without the necessary provisions of life. I will make sure there's a help that is stationed by your side. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? So what am I just trying to say, ladies and gentlemen? And I'm hearing in my spirit what you cannot do for yourself. I am here tonight to do for you. I'm hearing in my spirit what you cannot do for yourself. I am here tonight to do for you. I'm hearing what you cannot do for yourself. I am here tonight to do for you. The Lord said there are so many people that cannot buy houses for themselves. God said, I am here to do it for you. There's one of my sons who is watching me tonight. The Lord gave me a word for him. We, we did it, but laughter that day. He went and he was laughing on the land. And the point is that he didn't even have the money. He's, ladies and gentlemen, he told the landlord, I will buy it. And ladies, they said, ah, and I said, where is the money? The man ran and said, and good deeds started coming his way from that day. Until all the money came, and then my son bought the land. And when it was to build the house, the Lord said, you will not labor to build it. Too. The Lord said, we build it by himself. He was wondering how. Ladies and gentlemen, some people were doing contracts by his side. They said, they are doing road. They said, give us money. Let's be doing the road. Whatever we gain, we will use it to build the house for you. And he gave them the money. And they built the house and returned his money. So he got a house without what? Without paying for it, as the Lord said. Please understand, what you cannot do for yourself, Jehovah can do it. The ministry of help will reach you. The min you see, there are people walking by your side that you don't know that there is help in them. Because, ladies and gentlemen, they have not addressed you. The Holy Ghost has not opened their mouth. From tonight, the Spirit of God will begin to insert it into the hearts of men. In Revelation chapter 17, verse 17, the Bible says he will put it in their heart to do his will. I prophesy from tonight, let in the name of Jesus, nations begin to hear the voice of God. I say right now, let Islam begin to hear the voice of God. Let Christianity begin to hear the voice of God. Let paganism begin to hear the voice of God. Let all men and women on the heart begin to hear the voice of their maker. Saying, go and help even Pastor Femi. Go and help Pastor Pastor Pai, Pastor Mai. Go and help Pastor Tosi. Go and help Pastor Tosi. I said, go and help Pastor Tomi. Go and help even Sister Debo. Go and help even Pastor Yamo. Go and help everybody under the sound of my voice. By the power of the Spirit of the living God. I raise global air for you now. Yeah. Is somebody catching what God has just given tonight? Is somebody getting what God is saying? There is a ministry of help. Jesus said, this is my ministry, but I will send you another helper. And that helper came in person of the Holy Ghost. So he said, I will send you another helper. The spirit of truth, that is, is the Holy Ghost, is the helper. In John chapter 16 verse 7, he said, if I do not go, the helper will not come. He has the ministry of help. Are you crying that there is none to help? There is help in the house. 
Oh, I said there is help in the house. The immediate help in trouble, ladies and gentlemen, we step into Nigerian economy right now. I don't care what is happening. Some people are so troubled now that there will be starvation. No Naira even again. No dollar for many. Nothing. How are they going to heat? How are they going to this? The, the, uh, the, the ATM machines are not dispensing. Ladies and gentlemen, it's a human ATM machine that is failing. Divine ATM machine has not failed. The Bible says our money failed in Egypt. So this is not the fourth time money will fail. But even in that Egypt, we have money failed. History was hitting. I'm hitting abundantly in Goshen. Ah, the land where money failed. Rise up. I want to decree. Lift up your two hands. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the land where money failed. I decree abundance over your lives in the name of Jesus. Amen. Abundance of satisfaction. Amen. Abundance of fulfillment. Amen. Abundance of consumption. Amen. Abundance of productivity. Amen. Abundance even of increase. Amen. Abundance of enlargement. Amen. Abundance of every of your desire being established. Amen. From now on, none of your desire will pass this season without being established. Amen. By the decree of the Almighty Amen. and the power of the highest upon the authority as given to the watchers, Amen. I speak from tonight that the zone of supply is open unto you. Amen. Take your seat in Jesus' name. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? Yes, ah, the Lord said from tonight, he said there's somebody here. He said, your hand will never lack provision. Amen. I just saw a white feeb on somebody's hand. Ha, yeah, Lord, this is my hand in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is my hand by the power of the Holy Ghost. This is my hand. Lord, this is my hand. This is my hand in the name of Jesus. Lord, this is my hand by the power of the Spirit of God. Lord, this is my hand. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Praise the Lord. Lord said there's somebody here, there's something in your life that you have been repairing, you have been patching, you have been managing. God said you don't need to manage it anymore. He said, I'm changing it completely. Amen. It may be your cow, he said, I'm changing it completely. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, it may even be your house, he said, I'm changing it completely. Hallelujah. Whatever you are patching and managing, ah, go, I see that person standing and dancing. Wow. <laughs> Even though I know one does, my body go to move it. <laughs> I see that person dancing. I see that person dancing. I see that person dancing. You will never manage it anymore. For what you have received, just give him praise. Father, we just want to say thank you. In Jesus' mighty name. For all you have done. For us. Hallelujah. We are grateful. Oh Lord. So there is a ministry of help in the Holy Ghost. And tonight that ministry is yours. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen. I want to pray a prayer as the Lord has said unto me. He said I should decrease something three times. And I want your amen. You are going to lift up your left hand and your amen will be deep and sound. Receiving it with all your strength. I hereby decree in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. By the power of the spirit of the living God. That from tonight the ministry of help begins to locate you. Amen. From tonight let men and women rise to help you. Amen. From tonight let animate and inanimate rise to help you. Amen. And from tonight all the days of your life. You will say it that by the help of God, I have been lifted up unto this day. Amen. That Amen. will be your story forever. Amen. Go in the strength of this ministry. The Lord said the min is a ministry. He said it has been handed over to you. Amen. Give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. Give him all the praise. Ladies and gentlemen, you will see all your neighbors converted to help us. I said you will see all your neighbors. <laughs> you know, don't bother, ladies and gentlemen, looking for ATM machine that is not yielding. God will be converting human beings to hit here machines for you. Uh, you know what I'm talking about? Human <laughs> Wherever they see you, they just want to bless you. Amen. They just come to say, look, I'm under a pressure to just give you this. I don't know you before, but something just told me I should give you this. It's not something. He's the Holy Ghost. Amen. Ministering to every heart to bless you. Amen. God bless you. In Jesus' name. Amen. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name. Ladies and gentlemen, what else, ladies and gentlemen, do we see in his will? That he left behind for the benefits of you and I. We go to number four, right? Yes, ladies and gentlemen, a new season. What do I call it? A new 
You see, many believers don't understand that Jesus left a new season behind. Jesus left it. He died so that the whole season may die. Please understand, ladies and gentlemen, there was a new season that God created in Genesis chapter 1. But Adam came and spoiled the new season and imported a hardship season. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So a particular field of humanity started from there. In 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Bible made us to understand that, ladies and gentlemen, the humanity changed to another. So there are two fields of humanity. Many people don't understand. There was the humanity under the first Adam. There was another humanity under the second Adam. The humanity under the first Adam was one, ladies and gentlemen, of turmoil, of stress. Ladies and gentlemen, of disobedience, of distress, and of pains. In Romans chapter number 5, the Bible says, verses 18 and 19, it says, by the disobedience of one man, many were made sinners. The other side is talking about punishment and all that causes came on humanity because of the disobedience of one man. He said, but by the obedience of one man, ladies and gentlemen, many are justified. So please understand, there is another humanity when Jesus came. Oh, glory be to God. That's why 1 Corinthians chapter 15, the Bible says, uh, from verse 43, 44, 45, the Bible says, of course, the, the first Adam was heartly, but the second Adam is a life-giving spirit. The other side, he said, if you are born image of the first Adam, we ought also to bear the image of the heavenly. The other side, for the second Adam is, of the, is the heavenly one. Now, please understand, ladies and gentlemen, I am no longer of the first Adam. I am now of the second Adam. The, uh, you see, the humanity applicable to me has changed. <laughs> The humanity applicable to you as what? Has changed. So we are now the generation of the second Adam. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? And this second Adam is supposed to experience heaven or not? Because the Bible says the second Adam is from heaven. Am I right? It's it that is from above is what? It's above all. It's from heaven. Please understand. So we carry heaven on heart. Now please understand. That means the heavenly is what you obtain in your life. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? And you see, that when Jesus died, in Acts chapter number 3, the Bible says, starting from verse number 19, Acts chapter 3, verse 19, but Peter was speaking. He said, repent and therefore be converted. He said, and your sins shall be blotted out. He said, then shall the season of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. What is he trying to say? When Jesus died, he left a new season of refreshing. Do you understand what I'm talking about? It's a new life. He left it for us. Ladies and gentlemen, it's not the whole life anymore. The Bible said, oh my goodness. They were crying. They said, oh Lord, why will you give, me, why will you give your heritage even, even to reproach? In Joel chapter number 2, he said, let the bridegroom even come out of his chambers. He said, and the groom even out of our closet. Out of, out of the closet. He said, even I mean, the bridegroom out of his chambers I mean, and the groom out of our closet. He said, he, said, he said, let the priest, even let them ring a bell. He said, let them blow the trumpet in Zion. He said, let even the priest weep between the porch and the altar and let them say, oh Lord, deliver your heritage. Do not give your heritage to reproach. He said, why should he the rule over them? Because everything was wrong in their life. He said, then with the Lord here and the Lord was jealous for his land. Joel chapter 2 from verse 15. He said, then the Lord, he said, now will begin to send rain. He will turn around the situation. He said, he will bring about a new season. He said, he will send to you even the former rain. He said, he said, be glad therefore, O you daughters of Zion. He said, he said, oh, in fact, verse 22, he said, be glad, O ye plant, O ye beast of the field. He said, for the Lord sends his rain to water the field, and the field will bring forth abundantly. He said, now be glad, O ye daughters of Zion, for the Lord has given you the former rain moderately. Now it will cause to rain for you. The former rain and the, and, and the what? And the and the latter rain in the first month. He said, of course, even on the land, the, the ground shall be filled with wheat and barley. He said, and the vast shall burst with wine and oil. He said, and I will restore back the years the canker worms have eaten. Even the canker worm, the caterpillars and, and the locusts, which the, my God, even, I mean, my hand, I mean, the enemies which I've sent among you even have devoured. He said, he said, he said, he said, now listen, he said, and my people shall eat in plenty and they shall be satisfied and I will pour out my spirit upon the flesh. He said, and my people, therefore, they will not be ashamed shamed anymore. He said, we, he said, by reason of me pouring out my spirit upon the flesh. So what is he trying to say? They were in bondage. They cried. God said, I will bring a new season. I will pour the spirit. The moment the spirit comes, the new season comes. The moment the spirit comes, God said, now rejoice anymore. He said, don't cry. The man said, they were weeping me between crying. He said, now begin to be glad. <laughs> 
If some, even the beast of the field, God said, let them rejoice. If he can cover cattle, if he can cover goat, if he can cover rats. Ladies and gentlemen, he covers me absolutely as the son of God. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. I don't care what is happening in Nigerian economy. Your portion will be in everlasting joy. Your portion will be in everlasting joy. There is something called the season of refreshing. Jesus said, I left this as an heritage. Do you understand what I'm talking about? The Bible says, he said, he said when the season of refreshing will come from the presence of the Lord. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And of course, there will be a restitution of all things uh, even before Jesus will come back. He said it there. Acts chapter 3 from verse 19. So God is telling somebody here that everything must be restored back to normalcy in your life. Everything that has been distorted. A new season. Jesus said, I left it as my will. I left it as my what? As my will. And we have seen it in Joel chapter 2 that the spirit is the one that will import it. Do you understand what I'm talking about? That will change the result in your life. Do you the hardship will go. <laughs> if somebody catch what I'm talking about, that is what the spirit has come to do. The Bible said, ladies and gentlemen, Arakopra Ligorotok Seprahadra, Emarataya, but Peter said, ah, there is no food, there is nothing. Jesus had died. He said, me, I'm going to fish, you know, I'm going back to my former profession because things were hard. And they toyed all night and caught nothing. I don't know whether that is your situation. The economy is so bad right now. That Japa system, ladies and gentlemen, has found an Establishment. It's just about that power is about to enter National Assembly now to, to become legalized. I'm telling you, it has it has entered, ladies and gentlemen, into the root of the heart of virtually all Nigerians now. Everybody seems to be looking for, you know, I mean, do you understand what I'm talking about? How to escape from this nation. Now, please understand, ladies and gentlemen, it is because they are toiling and there is nothing to show for it. Imagine I was talking to Sister Debo. There is this milk that I used, we used to buy, I don't know, is even 38,000 or so they used to give us that milk then. That milk now should be over 100,000. And the person said, said from next week, uh, they even said they're going to increase the price of all the product. I said, what? Ah, again? Do you understand what I'm talking about? You see, I mean, so, uh, can you imagine what salary do you, want to, do you want to collect? I just keep asking myself now. That can actually meet up with needs. Ladies and gentlemen, the Lord is telling me that somebody has said your income just jumped up. Oh, Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we give you all the praise. Father, we give you all the praise. I declare from February salary increase for everybody. Increase for everybody. Is somebody just catching what God is talking about? Father, I receive my own increase too. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? So, are you getting what I'm talking about? So, you see, when God begins to speak this way, God is saying something that is very important. There is a Japa system that has entered because of the economy of Nigeria. They toyed all night and caught what? Nothing. But when the Holy Ghost came on them, the Bible says, <laughs> he obliterated every lack from their midst. The Bible says, and they shared all things in common, and none was needy among them. This is, they caught nothing they were in need. But when the Holy Ghost came, he told them that it is easy for me to take this thing out. Even without toiling. They were toiling before, but they never toiled again, and the results were coming. Ah, ladies and gentlemen, you will struggle again. Oh. A season of refreshing is coming your way. Now, what is this new season? Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? What is this new season? This new season, ladies and gentlemen, is the fact the perfect season comes. When, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus comes. When Jesus what? That is the second millennia. Now, that is the one Isaiah chapter number 11 was talking about. From verse 6, the Bible says in that place, he said the, 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 the cow and the bear, they will lie together. Eh? Bear, okay. that heat on flesh, that heat on cow. He said they will lie together. He said the lion will be eating straw. That means everything will return back to normalcy. You know, in Genesis chapter 1, verse 29, when God created all animals and all, even including man, the Bible said God gave them even the, the, the fields of, I mean, the fruit of the, and the herbs, the fruit of the trees and the herbs, even for food. And he said it shall be for food for man and even for all the beasts. So no animal was created carnivorous. But you see, the devil came in Genesis chapter number 3 and distorted the nature of, of, of everything. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? Now in Isaiah 11, the Bible says from verse 6 that the, even lion will start eating straw. Can you imagine? He will return back to normalcy. He said the, the little child shall put his hand into the cockroaches even hole. Can you imagine? Eh? Where there is a bay, where there is snake. The little, do you understand what I'm talking about? And you will see the lamb and the lion playing together, lying together. The Bible said, there shall be no hurt on my holy mountain. Yeah. Now, they see, that comes when, Je that is in Jesus' second millennia coming. Do you understand? But you see, the Holy Spirit is the custodian of that season. 
And that is the reason why Isaiah chapter 11 that talked about this started with the Holy Spirit. He said there is a rod that will come out of the stem of Jesus. He said and a branch from his root. He said and the spirit of the Lord will rest upon him. Now talking about even the seven spirit of God, the spirit of the Lord, one that is the spirit of dominion, the spirit of wisdom, the spirit of knowledge, the spirit of understanding, the spirit of counsel, the spirit of might, and the spirit of the fear of God. And shall make him a quick understanding in the fear of God. And we shall not judge by the seal of the eyes. And by the hearing of his ears. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And immediately finished that, he started talking about that new millennium with that spirit with import. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? So it is not experienceable, ladies and gentlemen, in your life, except by the power power of the spirit when the power rests on you ladies and gentlemen a new millennium can be imported into your life i don't know who i'm speaking to ladies and gentlemen there is a season of refreshing i said there is a season ladies and gentlemen where adam never struggled in genesis chapter one until the fall of my adam had no need please understand what could have been the prayer of adam unto god no prayer. In fact, it was God that was thinking for him. Adam never asked God for a wife. It was God that said it is good for a man to. That is to say everything will be dropping automatically. Without even going down on your knees. Even ladies and gentlemen having scars in prayers. This is what I'm talking about. Without fasting and you are already losing even your temperament and losing your tempo and losing your stamina in prayers. Or because your, I mean, before your desire can be established. No. Ladies and gentlemen, he didn't even ask. Ah, there is a realm where they receive without before they ask. I said there is a realm where they receive before they ask. Ladies and gentlemen, today God is shifting your life into that realm. Is somebody catching what God is talking about? So the Bible made us to understand very strategically here, very importantly here. Ladies and gentlemen, I want you to pray tonight. I want you to do what? To pray tonight. There is a new season. Do you understand me? A season where God takes you back into Genesis chapter 1 and takes you higher than Genesis chapter 1, which is actually the new millennia of Christ. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? Where everything works without anybody shedding tears. And now that season, Jesus said, this is my will for you. The season of refreshing. Where everything now works effortlessly. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? He said the Holy Spirit can import that season to your life. He's the executor of the will. Do you understand what I'm talking about? He's the executor. When he came on Peter and John, did they talk again before anything happened? He said they have talked all night and they even caught what? Nothing. That means the complete, ladies and gentlemen, 10 loader blaster failures. Even with all their, you know, hard work and with all, ladies and gentlemen, principles of diligence that they engaged. Please understand, ladies and gentlemen, but when the spirit came, eh, Peter was just sitting there. When they one, and as I said, I want to kusi beg and to come with correctly. Ojo kodi go kodi ento e. You know, he was sitting. Did you hear that Peter was running around when they brought the money? He was sitting, and the wife also came. Ask chapter five. Do you understand what I'm talking about? In your place of rest, ah. Everybody, you are going to begin to pray. You are going to begin to pray. Say, Father, in my position of rest, let provisions begin to meet me now. Everybody begin to pray. Ah, Father, le parato satayagaba. Lord, in my position of rest, yandra kibarakata. Lord, let opportunities begin to meet me. Lord, my God, a new season. My God, this is characteristic of the new season. My Father, in my position of rest, even in my home, let them be calling me. Even without me stepping out, Lord, let blessings be entering. My God, angels of God, I dispatch you to bring in blessings by the power of the Spirit of God. In my position of rest, let them begin to rush in, rush in, rush in, rush in, rush in. My God, let them begin to rush in. In my position of rest, 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 Peter was seated. My God, Peter was seated. Lord, in my position of rest, from now on, my God, let it begin to fall on my life. My God, the biggest benefit, the greatest, oh God, let them begin to happen. Greatest advantages, greatest benefit. In my position of rest, Lord, in my position of rest, Lord, without struggles, blessings without struggles, Lord, take struggle out of my blessings. Lord, take a fight out of my blessings. Lord, take a fight out of my blessings. Lord, take a fight out of my blessings. I don't need to fight to get it anymore. In my position of rest, Peter was seated. Lord, they were laying it at his feet. Lord Jesus, in my position of rest, in my position of rest, Lord, let me begin to, my God, gush for me in every direction. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' name we pray. 
Ladies and gentlemen, they were not jumping, shouting, screaming when the Holy Ghost, the greatest gift of God for humanity when it came on them. The Bible says in Acts chapter number 2, they were seated in the yes, upper sir. room in the position of rest. Ah, if the greatest came in the position of rest, every other thing will follow in the position of rest. I prophesy, lift up your hands. In the name of Jesus, you see, some days ago, I saw one of my daughters, and she knelt down, and I prayed with her. I said, I see contrast. They will be coming, I say, and they will be falling upon contrast. She saw me today. He said, Pastor, he said, contrast started coming in. One falling upon the other. Instant. That, this was just about three days ago, or something. Was it on Wednesday or Friday, Monday? And I laid hands on her, and I prophesied it. Ladies and gentlemen, and they started working here and there. Now, it, she has come to the point of, Pastor, this job is too much again now. Now, that is what God is saying again to somebody here. In your position of what? Of rest. You are not advertising. You are not running around. They are just calling you. They are just bombarding you with job. Ladies and gentlemen, they are bombarding you with blessings. In your position, even in your house, even with before you step out, hey, ladies and gentlemen, before you step out this morning, this morning, this morning, something good will hit you like a thunderbolt. Hey, hey. The same power that prophesied on that girl on Monday, the same is prophesying now on you. In your provision of rest, you look at Jesus begin to acquire so much. Amen. It is done. You will never struggle for blessings again. Amen. Glory be to God. Sit down, cross legs, say I'm in power. <laughs> Barate Sakata. In your position of rest. Glory be to God. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? So, ladies and gentlemen, what are we saying tonight? There is, ladies and gentlemen, a millennial reign, a new season that God is bringing. He said, Peter, you have been toiling, but a new season can be imported. And that is the season, the millennial reign of Christ, nobody will toil there. Ladies and gentlemen, we will be enjoying benefits like never before. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? In the position of what? Rest. Of rest. Glory be to God. Now listen, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> the Bible says in Ephesians chapter 1 and verse 13. So Jesus said, this new season, season of refreshing is my will. Ephesians 1, 13 now talks of the Holy Ghost. The Bible says, after you believe in Jesus, Ephesians 1, 13 and 14. The Bible says, he gave us the Holy Spirit, which is a seal. <laughs> verse 14. Even an, at the earnest, can you see, of our inheritance, even of the redemption of our, of the redemption of our purchased possession. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? He said, is the earnest of our inheritance, even of the redemption of our purchased possession. Now, that means the Holy Spirit is the earnest. Now, another translation says is the foretaste. You see, foretaste is where mama is cooking in the kitchen. And you quickly go to say, mama, okay, ah, this thing is smelling well. Okay, mama, let me just taste it. Ah, I said, wow, yeah, you fry this, this meat well. You just eat a bite, you bite a little. He said, well, I'm, well, I'm waiting for you to serve it on, on the dining table. My goodness, I can't wait anymore. My goodness, this is so sweet. This is a, you see, that means, a, you see, the time for the maintenance has not come. But you are made to foretaste. Do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> the millennial reign has not come. But you can partake of it. You can experience it now. You can have a foretaste of it. You see, another transition use the word earnest. Another transition use a down payment. A down payment simply means that the full payment is still coming. But this is a down payment that okay, take oh, don't sell the car. The full payment is still what? Is still coming. So the Holy Ghost is a down payment. Yes, <laughs> it's a fortress. Ladies and gentlemen, this down payment I'm talking about is not a down payment for a corn. It's not, it's not a <laughs> for, for roasted corn. That's not the one I'm talking <laughs> This one is correct down payment. <laughs> what for you somebody? I'm talking to somebody here. <laughs> it's not for roasted corn, ladies and gentlemen. It's a down payment for a season of refreshing. Glory Somebody God. shout hallelujah. <laughs> this is correct down payment. Yes. You understand know what I'm talking about? I'm trying to say a guarantee. Mm. Somebody catch what I'm talking about. So, you see, ladies and gentlemen, it's exactly the same thing. Second Corinthians 5 5. The Bible says, talk to about the same thing again. He said, the Holy Spirit is the earnest. The earnest I'm talking of things to come. So, it's, it's a foretaste. Do you understand? Of things to come. So there are things to come, ladies and gentlemen. There is a life that is without struggle that is coming in the millennial race. There is a life where, ladies and gentlemen, nothing will hurt again. Poverty will not hurt again. Dollar increase won't hurt again. There is a life, ladies and gentlemen, as somebody's look at me and say, Pastor, why can't that life come? I am here to let you know that that life has come. There is a foretaste available. You can start experiencing it before you get there. 
Am I talking to somebody here? It's by the Holy Ghost. It's by the Holy Ghost. It's by the Holy Ghost. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? There is a life, ladies and gentlemen. They cannot be hindered anymore. When Jesus looked at them, he said, Son of you, enemy, John 21. They said nothing. But Jesus himself, ladies and gentlemen, Jesus himself, they didn't have any meat. But the Bible said they saw Jesus frying meat for them, frying fish for them. Where did he get it? So that means there is a life that no show cannot stop again. Yes, they didn't catch anything and Jesus was roasting meat for them. Where did Jesus? Supposing they caught and they put it on ground, Jesus could have taken out of it to be roasted. Am I right? But this was after the resurrection of Jesus. You know what Jesus is saying? The resurrected life. Now, in Mark chapter 11, Jesus was going. He saw the fig tree. He was hungry. He said, fig tree, food. The fig tree said, oh God, no show for you. He said, I'm not going, I'm not going to give you any food today. And he, you know, BJ's were there for Do you understand what I'm talking about? Because there was no show. Am I right? But you see, ladies and gentlemen, that was before his death. When he resurrected, they caught nothing and there was meat. That means no show can't stop him anymore. If somebody catch what I'm talking about, that is your life. The absence of Naira, new notes being dispensed, can't stop even your spending. It's a life. This is the time when some of you will buy new, buy new cars. I, I sanctified a brand new car today. This is your, I'm speaking by the power of the Spirit. This is the time when you will buy your house. Uh, this is the time where no show eh, in banks can't stop you. This is the time when no show can't stop you. The resurrected life is available. I said the resurrected life is available. The Bible says we died with him. And we rose together. Ladies and gentlemen, Abba, the new life is now available. So I'm speaking by the Spirit of God. Receive the foretaste now. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter number 6 verse 4, the Bible says those who have once been enlightened, who have tasted of the heavenly gift, who as ladies and gentlemen, the Bible says they, 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 they have received the good gift of God. They have tasted of the heavenly gift. The Bible says they have, they have received even the Holy Ghost and they have tasted even of the good word of God and of the powers of the age to come. That means tomorrow has been imported into their today. Ladies and gentlemen, Kabari, Hati, La Prodigadoya, Radia, the Lord said that everybody should firstly pray here. That Father, what would have taken me 10 years, let me get there this year. Somebody begin to pray. We are, would have taken me 10 years, right? I'm beginning to pray right now. That is a distance, Baba Kanako. I'm hearing that in the spirit. Maripaze Keto Yagaba. It could have taken you 10 years to have a house. God is giving you today, tonight. It's not even tomorrow, tonight. It could have taken you 20 years even to buy that thing. God is giving you tonight. Somebody begin to tell me right now. The Kanako of God, the power of God. Yaprali Gorosta Zakata. Brali Gorosta. Supernatural speed to cover long distance within a short time. Divine teleportation. Yepro Take him into the center where I should be in the next 20 years. The powers of the age to come. You have not yet entered into that time, but you can begin to enjoy the benefit of it right away. Somebody begin to step in right now. By the power of God, in the name of Jesus, I step in right now. By the anointing, by the anointing, by the anointing of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Father. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Jesus said, I left you an heritage of a, a season of refreshing. Am I right? This is a season where nothing hurts anymore. Where Peter, it doesn't matter how much dollar he is, they will be laying it at your feet. Where there will be no need in your life again. And there was no need in their lives. Do you understand? And neither was there any that lacked. Ha! Ah, that's a good one. <laughs> that's a good one. I like that rep. So, ladies and gentlemen, this is the time that scripture is practical in this nation. <laughs> this is the time. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Now, please understand what I'm talking about. So, once you be a pama, once you be a pama, once you Do you know that since this first scarcity started, eh, God has been using somebody to supply me for it, and I never paid. Even when there was no first scarcity, I was paying. <laughs> I said, This is the best time. <laughs> <laughs> Um, my vehicles don't, don't like for And you know what? I don't go to queue. One Bewali, one Rodney, one Bewali. Koye. Okay, Bewali. I'm going to say, I'm going to say, Pastor, I'm not paying. I said, But when I was free, I was paying. Ah, it's as though I should pray the first class if you continue to You see, the way he be talking, you said, I'm going to say, Please understand. So there are some of us that are enjoying some benefit. Ah, this is your season. 
Amen. You are going to pray a new season right now, import into my life. The season of refreshing by the Spirit. Somebody begin to import it. By the power of the Spirit of God, begin to import it. The season of great fortune. Yabrahadoze Kredigarosta. Mela Pargotek Zubreli Gerosta. The season of refreshing. The season of refreshing, Yembrani Garoksta. The season of refreshing by the power of the Spirit of God. Leo Beg Zenin Antel Gerosta Zubra Ligerokta Zagradia. The season of refreshing, Yengre Kibozabra, Magra, Babrate, Bego Bredi Gerosta. The season of refreshing, the season, the season, the season, the season. I'm seeing a new season for your life. Ladies and gentlemen, it will no longer be a season of worship. It will no longer be a season of difficulties. By the power of God, the season of of refreshing the season of refreshing cambra liga bota mambra liga rockstar zagre diga rockstar mempara banoxte bre mama marate mimba babrade barricato zegabo bradi garoxta lika ragoda bambra niga rockstar carabaya rate the season the season of refreshing in the mist malipara kato zakata the season of refreshing the season of refreshing the season of refreshing the season of refreshing Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Everybody stretch your hands like this. You are not going to be turning around. A lot said 360 degrees. The atmosphere around you will change. The economic atmosphere is changing. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care whether there is fuel scarcity. You will be having fuel free. I don't care whether there is Naira scarcity. Naira will be coming to you free. I don't care whatever scarcity it is. Somebody begin to turn. By the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus. Leg zonemen de la cobra ligerele de la gode box sectori barigade. Leg de la gode box dek zonemen de kibra ligarosta. My God, a season of refreshing. By the power of the Holy Ghost, the season of refreshing. Lord, a season of refreshing. All run as touching all aspects of my life. Things are easier for me. Things are easier by the executor of the Holy Ghost. I said today, he imports upon my life a new season. The Holy Ghost imports a new season. The season of refreshing. The season of where I don't toil anymore. The Holy Ghost came on Peter and my God, he never toiled anymore. They were laying it at his feet. Lord Jesus, my God, this season comes right now. In my life, I don't toil anymore. I don't kill for fuel. My God, Lord, I don't struggle for dollars. My God, it come easily by the power of the Spirit of God. My God, it comes by the anointing of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus. I receive my season of refreshing. Thank the Lord Jesus. We we'll give you all praise. In Jesus' mighty name, I will pray. Lord, there's somebody here. You're right over a walk or where you are walking. It relates to work. God said that you are due for that thing. That is said, it is dropped right now. Amen. It is released into your hands. Amen. Lift your holy hands and give him all the praise. Hallelujah. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, we are on benefit number five, which will be the last for tonight. Benefit number five that Jesus left behind, which is the last tonight. I call it empowerment. What do I call it? Empowerment. empowerment. Now, I want you to understand, ladies and gentlemen, that Jesus left the heritage of power because he walked in power. He himself was the power of God. The Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 24, that this Jesus is the power and the wisdom of God. So he was, he was power. <laughs> in, in Matthew chapter 28, verse 18, he said, All power on earth and in heaven has been given unto me. Jesus said, I carry all power. Ah. Lord, when will my house come? Somebody here, you are living in a property or you have a possession. You have something in your hand that you want to be sold to you. You want to get it. That is said, I should tell you, it is handed over. Amen. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? Now, so Jesus, in Matthew 28, verse 18, the Bible says, All power on earth and in heaven has been given unto me. That is to say that all power, Jesus has the inheritance of power that he leaves behind. And you see, he, 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 when he was to communicate that power, he said, Look, I will not leave you powerless. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Make sure you don't leave Jerusalem until you are in deal with power from on high. Can you see? So Jesus said, I carry power out. But I will leave you the inheritance of power. Ladies and gentlemen, we are the heirs of power. <laughs> I said we are the heirs of power. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Your life is not powerless. Your life shouldn't be powerless at any point. You should not lay hands on a business and the business is, 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 is failing. You shouldn't lay hands on anything, ladies and gentlemen, and you are finding it difficult even to prosper in that thing. No, ladies and gentlemen, he left us the heritage of power. 
And this heritage is in the Holy Ghost. This heritage is in where? Is in the Holy Spirit. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? So he's the executor of that will. So when the executor came, he said, he has told me to distribute power to you. And according to his will, he said, so you take power. Tose, take power. Mike, take power. Femi, take power. Oh yeah, Tommy, take power. Oh yeah, um, Jesus, oh, take power. Do you understand what I'm talking about? And they gave power to everyone. Is somebody catch what I'm talking about? Now, tonight, ladies and gentlemen, Acts chapter 1, verse 8, the Bible says, And thou shalt receive power when the Holy Ghost has come upon thee. Now, please understand that power, ladies and gentlemen, is the effective operation of that spirit. It can increase in your life. The deposit of that power can increase. The Bible says when the power increases, they got the power, Acts chapter number 2, when the Holy Ghost came down. In Acts chapter number 3, he tested the power on the body of a layman at the beautiful gate. The layman walked. In Acts chapter number 4, they prayed. The Bible said that, and where they prayed, shook. And they were all filled with the Holy Spirit. Am I right? Verse 31. And the Bible says, verse 33, and with great power. That means the power increased. The power what? Increased. <laughs> when they prayed, the power increased. Now, you see, the, the experience of power increased. With great power, they bore witness to the resurrection of our Lord Jesus Christ. And great grace was upon them. Now, that Acts chapter 4, that same thing extended to Acts chapter 5. I think you know. It's just one narrative. There was no chapter and verses in the Bible. Do you understand what I'm talking about? So, the, and, and then you will see immediately they started selling land and they were laying at the apostles' feet. And Anas and Safra, Acts chapter 5, they sold their land, they lied, they died. And then verse 12, after the case of Ananias and Sapphira's case ended around verse 10 and 11, verse 12, and by the hands of the apostles were many signs and wonders wrong. Verse 16, they brought all that were sick and they were all healed. Can you see it? They prayed, they said, Lord, stretch forth your hands and heal, and they were all healed, and God did. So with great power. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the measure you carry can be increased. <laughs> Do you understand what I'm talking about? So tonight, I wanted to desire empowerment. Jesus left the heritage of power. Your life should not, is it, nobody should just be harassing you and just be go, I mean, going scot free. I don't know if you understand what I'm talking about. You bring in power and the solution will come in. Somebody stole my money. Eh? And the boy was lying, lying and he was swearing by the grave of his father that he never stole the power. I, was there. I said, listen, I said, I'm under the anointing. I said, I said, go and tell your family. I said, in three days' time, a madman shall be better than you. Except you are not the one who stole the money. Eh? When he heard that, a madman shall be better. And he knew it will come to pass. He has seen miracles. You know what? He, he went downstairs and he went to bring them. He said, I'm sorry. Sir. This guy has been lying with the grave of his father before. But when power came, he said, please, this is the money, sir. I stole it, sir. Mm. Do you understand what I'm talking about? <laughs> he said, they came and cleared my land, my land document. And I called the three people that entered my room to, 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 to whatever. So the three of them sat in front of me. I said, the Lord said that he will announce the person who stole the land document with them. Ah, they are carrying the land document to America. They imported this trade to Nigeria with, one, with, with high speed. And brought it. <laughs> what a ticket to this trade? What? What to fish in a new envelope? Where package? Kia, kia. What they carried to America. Don't you understand that? That is eternal deprivation. But wherever your blessing are power, we extract it out for you. Amen. The heart held, fed into water. The Bible said they carried the man with the double fold of the anointing. He caught the stick. He said, where is it? He said, this direction. He threw it there. The axe had floated. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't care what the enemy stole. I don't care. What, even if they have carried you over the sea, over Atlantic and Pacific, by the power of the Spirit of God, power tonight is extracting out all your blessings in the name of Jesus. Amen. So when power came, ladies and gentlemen, benefits will show up. Friends, the greatest advantage of the executor in his will, Leo Pradi Garosta, executing the will of Jesus, is that he has come to distribute power tonight. I don't care where you are. The Bible says they were filled with the Holy Ghost. They were the prayer shook and they were filled. Therefore, it gave them greater power. And all sicknesses were completely obliterated. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that menace will go. The Lord said there is special power for business tonight. Now, for those who are, do, who are into business, I, I, I want you to pray. For those who want to go into business as well, I want you to pray. You are going to stretch your hands forward like this when you stand up and you are praying. Because something unusual will come on your hands. One of my sons came to me. He said, Pastor, 
He said, I, I have cars in my car, Lord. I want all of them to move. I said, bring your hand. I lay hands on him and said, boom! The man went. That same week, he said, all the cars left. He said, even the ones that have been there since January, this was December, he said, everything clear. In one week, that he could not sell all through the year. He said, everything clear. Another one came, he said, Pastor, with what has happened? He said, I also want to sell this car. He said, this is the key, sir. I lay hands on it. I said, when do you want it sold? He said, tomorrow, sir. I said, tomorrow, go. The next day, the car was sold. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? Another person came. He said, Pastor, uh, is this, this goods? I said, bring your hand. Bass. The next day, somebody came and cleared all the goods. All. Now, please understand, ladies and gentlemen, you've had so many testimonies of that. That is power coming on their hands. Now, imagine if that power is resident there. Don't you think that every business will just be flying in their hands? Something is about to happen. Rise up. You are going to stretch your hands forward for those in business. What I'm here right now is business power. Business power. Business power. Stretch your hands forward and begin to pray in the Holy Ghost. Business power is moving. Business power is moving. Effectiveness in business. The Lord said men and women who are sub-subtract contractors and sub-even distributors will turn right now even to be distributors. He said, I'll begin to elevate business people to their next level. Some lake able bread here, we even jump two levels. Somebody begin to prophesy, pray in the Holy Ghost. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Power. Begin to command power in your hands. Magebo jakata. Power on my hands. Power on my hands. And business. Business power. Grace for entrepreneurship. The anointing for entrepreneurship is moving right now. Anointing for entrepreneurship. Anointing for effective entrepreneurship. Grace for entrepreneurship is moving right now. Lord, I receive the anointing to sell diligently and to sell effectively without any interruption to move my God in all directions, my God, and to acquire all that I need to acquire. I receive grace right now. My God, I receive grace. My God, it moves in my hands. Lord, it moves in my hands. It's the power of God. It moves in my hands. By the anointing of the Holy Ghost, it moves in my hands. Me prodigal Power, power in the name of Jesus. I said the work of power is established in my hands. I said the work of power is established in my hands. Power, power in the name of Jesus. And the work of power is established in my hands. In the name of Jesus, the work of power is established in my hands. I said the work of power, power, power in the name of Jesus. Down by the power of the Holy Ghost. In Jesus' mighty name, have we prayed. Now, ladies and gentlemen, all professionals, if you're into any profession and all students, the Lord said right now, this is time for you to be empowered. Now, listen, ladies and gentlemen, pray this prayer. Pray. God spoke to me before I came. He told me that he's going to touch somebody's brain like never before. Amen. I remember when I was a dollar and I went to the mountain top, Lord, touch my brain. You can see the effectiveness. I'm not carrying any book. I've been preaching for hours because my brain was touched. There was a time my brain could not even retain anything, even for two minutes or three minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, that brain can, I would take tutorials when I was in university for six hours and I would be quoting cases. I would be, my lecturers would carry my script and go and show another lecturer. I said, can you imagine a brain that wrote this? The lecturer told me, they told me, they said, they said when we mark your script, we wonder what kind of brain is this? Because I will quote the cases, I will cite even the paragraph, I will cite the pages where the law, where the, where the court case is, I will cite even, I will cite even the date. I will cite everything when the judgment was given. And I will quote the, the judgment be one page, two, two pages. I will, will quotation. I will start, quote everything down. Do you understand? They said, which brain is this? Do you understand? They started showing uh, all of each other. Now, please understand, ladies and gentlemen, that's exactly what happens when the power of God comes on your life. I will, I will have exams. I will just start reading three hours to the exam. And they will say, oh, you led the exam. Uh, you scored 76. I say, ah. And there will be others that have started reading the papers from the beginning of the semester. But you see, ladies and gentlemen, something happened. Something touched this brain. I will, in Harvard, where you need 27 hours per day to be a student, me, I will leave December 15 to come to Nigeria. Exam will start January 12. I will be leaving Nigeria January 10. And I will be entering Harvard January 11, 8 p.m. to enter exam hall the next morning. And they still say, we never had a student like you. And when I came to Nigeria, I never came with a single book. That night when I enter, I'll just start reading. Ladies and gentlemen, we enter exam or go and blast straight. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? Because somebody touched my brain. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? I asked 
that day, I said, Lord, James chapter 1 verse 5 says, who is he that lack wisdom? Let him ask from the Lord. Ladies and gentlemen, are you in academics? Are you in business? What is that aspect of life where you need the touch of God on your life? Are you in any profession? Are you in any career? You need the touch of God. You are an engineer, you need the touch. You are a pro you are, whatever it is, you need the touch of God on your life. Now stretch your hand forward right now and begin to receive that empowerment. Everybody begin to pray. The greatness of power. I'm hearing that in the spirit. Somebody begin to pray. Lord, I receive the greatness of power on my brain. I receive the greatness of power in my finance. I receive the great The power of God. The power of God. The power of God. The, power of God. the greatness of power. Maxila Haibrahaiga. Rete Zekete. The greatness of power. Eparaki Parpo Disapra. The greatness of power. The greatness of power. The greatness of power the greatness of power yekebo shakata power in my brain power in everything that i do max zelero box zenemen drekebo zakata the greatness of power somebody receive right now the greatness of power somebody receive right now the greatness of power yaka praligaroksta lekebrodia he's distributing it the holy ghost is the executor the distributor is distributing to the yes right now of salvation is apportioning to everyone what belongs to them is apportioning power to you right now in a greater measure in a greater measure in a greater measure the gift of grace is given unto you in a greater measure right now the gift of grace the bible says in Ephesians chapter 4 verse number 7 the bible says unto everyone is the grace of god given according to the measure of the gift of christ i said right now the measure of that gift is being increased it's been increased in your life. In academics, it's been increased. In your career, it's been increased. In your profession, it's been increased. As a high-level professionalism, by the power of God, and Daniel, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, the Bible said they were four ten times better than their colleagues because God gave them knowledge and skills in all wisdom and learning. Somebody begin to receive right now. God is giving you something unusual. This is what my God become makes you unbeatable even to all your equals. I said this is what makes you are standing among your comrades. Ah, Rato Sakata, he puts you in the prime interparis position. Rata, the empowerment of the spirit. Lord, there is empowerment tonight upon everybody in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, parents, if your children are sleeping, Please, if you are where they are, please just go to those rooms and begin to lay hands on them. Begin to lay, if you, if you are not there, pull them up on your phone. Pull your children up on your phone if you have their pictures. If you have their pictures, begin to mention their names and begin right now to release empowerment on them right now. Release empowerment on them right now. Jesus never left until he has blessed his disciples. Begin to bless them right now. Begin to bless them right now. Begin to bless them right now. And Isaac blessed Jacob. Lebro digerokstas zekata. Begin to bless them right now. Begin to bless them right now. Begin to appoint unto them their destiny. Release greater empowerment upon them. This is what makes them outstanding. I bless Peter and I bless John. In the name of Jesus, I bless all my children spiritual. Every member of Divine Glory Christian Church, you are blessed. In the name of Jesus, I release greater empowerment on your life. I say you are empowered tonight. Your lives will never remain the same again. I bless your professions. I bless your careers. I bless your jobs. I bless even your businesses. I bless all that you lay your hands upon. Everybody watching me and listening to me all over the world. I bless all that you do. In the name of Jesus, the empowerment of the Spirit of Christ rests on you. In Dubai, it rests. I say right now, you, you, it rests. In Canada, it rests. In America, he rest in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are, even in Paracot, he rest. Even in East, in, in Nigeria, all over, all over Africa, he rest all over you. In the name of Jesus, is the empowerment of the Holy Ghost. Your lives will never remain the same again. Thank Lord Jesus for this empowerment. Lord, we give you all the praise. Libo Janamanta, everybody lift up holy hands and just be praying on the Holy Ghost. I'm seeing that power moving right now. I'm seeing Mumbra Digaros, the lightnings, lightning shine. Shara, shara of light, Lebro Digarosta. God is releasing my God. The God of glory is thundering. The God of glory is thundering. The God of glory is thundering. He's thundering on your life. He's thundering on your business. This is what makes it better. You are empowered. Shakata. In a greater dimension. You are empowered. In a greater dimension. Mark Zolebo Prelegorosta. The custodian, Yebro Girista of God's power. Leko Prodigarosta. The only power that God has. Yebro Dia. The sweet Holy Ghost Himself. The executor. 
of the will of Jesus is distributing it right now, even to all the hairs of salvation. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, have we prayed. Thus see the spirit of the living God, I lie not. Thus see the spirit of the living God, I lie not. The Lord said, I should tell you, goodness and mercy will follow you. Amen. And he gave me Hebrews chapter 6, verse number 9. Please let us all read Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 9. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 9. Everybody, everybody standing. Hebrews chapter number 6 and verse number 9. Lego Janamanda Cobra Lego Roktek Zegeboya. Hebrews chapter 6 and verse number 9. Radi Alito Gazola Mamprahagdi Zagradia. So we all read together. One, two, go. But beloved, we are persuaded better things of you. And things that accompany salvation. So, ladies and gentlemen, I am persuaded better things of you. The Lord said I should tell you. He said, From tonight, better things will follow you. He said, the good things that accompany salvation will follow you. Amen. I said, I'm persuaded, ladies and gentlemen, better children following you. Amen. I'm persuaded for the singles. I said, better spouses will follow you. Amen. I'm persuaded even for the married, in the name of Jesus, your marriage. I said, better marriage, sweeter one. I say right now, in the name of Jesus, enters your home and your life forever. Amen. I am persuaded better jobs. Amen. I am persuaded better businesses. Amen. I am persuaded even better profit. Amen. I am persuaded, ladies and gentlemen, a better better season of refreshing. Amen. Ladies and gentlemen, in this season that there is fuel scarcity, and me, I don't buy fuel, and I don't lack fuel. I say the same grace that is on my life. The grace that was on Isaac, even in Genesis 26, that there was famine in the land, and the man was reaping a hundredfold. And while others were getting no result, he was getting maximum result. I prophesy that in this season, maximum result will follow you. Amen. Maximum result will follow you. Maximum, hey, the Lord said there's someone here, you're working in the company that is faced with aridity. Right now, I change that aridity to prosperity. Amen. Maximum Amen. result follows you. Amen. I am persuaded better things of you. Even the good things Amen. that accompany salvation. Amen. God bless you real good. Amen. Give him thanks for all that has happened tonight. Father, we just want to say thank you. We we'll bless your holy name, O oh God. We we'll thank you, Lord Jesus. Blessed is your holy name. You are here, ladies and gentlemen, you have not yet given your life to Jesus. Remember, inheritance are for years. There are some people that served my mother. They served her in her old age. They helped her, two of them, a woman and a man. The man was carrying my mother around everywhere. The woman served, was helping my mom, cleaning the house. They were like so close to my mom, even closer than we children, because they were the ones my mother was seeing and relating with every day. Ladies and gentlemen, for years they were like that. But when it was time to read their will, their names were not, were not there. The names of only our children were there. Ladies and gentlemen, when it comes to inheritance, it doesn't matter how much you serve. A servant does not inherit. It is only sons that inherit. You are not qualified to inherit all that Jesus left, except you give your life to Jesus and you become a son of God. The Bible says, for as many as believe him, Gave you power to be called even the sons of God. Tonight the power is available. Would you like to give your life to Jesus? I want your hands upon your chest. And I want you to please say after me, darling Lord Jesus. I have heard your word tonight. I have believed in my heart that you indeed came and you died for me and you left benefits for me. I have heard of the benefits of your demise. And I'm here, Lord, to position myself as a heir. Jesus, please save my soul. If you have been a backslider, I just wanted to talk to God as well. Say, Jesus, you are the restorer. Please restore me. Restore me, O oh Lord. The Bible says, repent and be baptized. He said, and be converted. He said, and your sins shall be blotted out. And then will a season of refreshing come from the presence of the Lord. Say, Jesus, as I'm giving my life right now, I want to position myself for a new season. Oh, thank you for, for giving me all my sins. Thank you for cleansing me. Now, Jesus, please come inside of me. Save me eternally. I am yours as you are mine. I become your son from today. I'm the heir of God, the inheritance of Jesus. They are all mine. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. 
For as many as have just given their lives to Jesus right now, I pray for you. By the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God, that the life of God comes all over you. The Spirit of God rests upon you. As you have given your life to Jesus, the Lord will keep you on the narrow path. You will not go back again. And in Jesus' name, the gift of righteousness is at work in you. Amen. Go in peace. Amen. In Jesus' name, amen. amen. If you are far away, please get a Bible believing church and be going. And if you are close around you in Lagos, you can fellowship with us in Divine Glory Christian Church. We are situated at number 30B, number 30. Uh, Adekule Faju Yiwe, Ikeja GRA. The Lord bless you. Please come and fellowship with us. The Lord bless you, really good as you come. Uh, by, by God's grace, our services. You know, holds on Sunday by 9 a.m. Uh, as we'll be having part two of this uh, inheritance message on Sunday. By the grace of God, it holds by 9 a.m. And at the same time, uh, on Sunday, uh, 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 we have a service then. And on Wednesday, we also have a service by 6.30 p.m. The Lord bless you, Rigu. You can join us in any of these services and enjoy the best even of the blessings of the Lord in the name of Jesus. God be with you. I see somebody. You are about to launch out. I'm seeing some books, some writings going out. The Lord said, God, the Lord said, I have answered you. He said, Go in Jesus' name. Somebody also is trying to gain stability. It's like you want to be, you want to be independent. You, you don't want to walk under a covering anymore. You want to be independent. The Lord said, Grace for autonomy has been released on you by the anointing of the Holy Spirit of God. He said, You will see this grace work out some tremendous thing in three months in your life. See the Spirit of the Living God. Father, we are so grateful. Blessed is your name. In Jesus' name. Everybody, you can please take your seat. I want you to package your offerings unto Jesus. Wherever you are watching me from, I want you to package your offerings unto Jesus. Package it beautifully for him who has blessed us so much, even with the benefits of his demise. Is somebody catching what I'm talking about? Let's package it beautifully right now. Uh, you want to pay your tithe? God bless you. The account of the ministry is being projected right now. Uh, yes, Leko Brody Garosta is projected on all our platforms. It's projected on Zoom. It's projected on uh, Mixlr. I mean, uh, yeah, on our Mixlr uh, station. If you click on it, you will see that it's projected on our Facebook and it's projected on YouTube. Please, if you don't see it on the platform where you are, switch over to the next platform. You will see the account of the ministry. And should in case you still don't get it, you can send a message to this number. 080 you send a message to that number and the number will text you the account of the ministry the number is 080 the number also is on whatsapp should in case you want to whatsapp the number you put plus 234 in front it will be plus 234 80 the moment you send a message to that number, they will uh, forward the account of the ministry to you. You can please go ahead right now and partake of the blessings or the horror. And you can also go to our website for those who want to give with their ATM cards or their debit cards. Go to our, our website, www.dgccinternational.org. www.dgccinternational.org. Uh, of course, uh, you will see uh, a given icon on our wake on page. You click on it, it takes you to our payment portal, and of course, you can partake of the blessings there by giving. The Lord bless you, very good as you do so in Jesus' name. I want to bless every offering in the house. Father, in the name of Jesus, we we'll give you all the praise, Father, for the privilege to give unto you right now. The blesser of our souls, the lift up of our heads, the, our increaser. It doesn't matter what is happening in the economy. It is an opportunity for great grace, even to be made manifest. Blessed is your name. As the devil is doing more wickedly, God is doing more goodly. Blessed is your name. We dove, my God, even and we dive, my God, into Barakata. We dock ourselves under, my God, the mightiness of the grace of God. And we speak from tonight that everybody under the sound of my voice, you will continually enjoy unmerited favor. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name have we prayed. Somebody shout hallelujah. Somebody shout the louder hallelujah. Somebody shout the loudest hallelujah. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. It's been a wonderful night. And the Lord has been so good to us. What an inheritance we have received. Hallelujah. So let's share the grace in fellowship. One, two, three. Go. 
and the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Ghost be with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely, goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. In Jesus' name. Somebody shouted, I have, by persuasion, better things following me in Christ Jesus. So go ahead this time now and shout the loudest. Hallelujah. 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 God bless you. See you later. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For more information, prayers, and counseling, you can reach us on the following numbers 080 33 706 938 and 080 28 281839 or visit our website at www.dgccinternational.org and connect with us on our social media platforms facebook.com forward slash dgccintl instagram at dgccintl on youtube search divine glory christian church our twitter handle is at DGCCINTL. Stay blessed.